There's a monster under my bed. I am hiding under my covers. I am five. The Quran states that a woman is inferior to a man. The woman's worth is dictated by the man that chooses to control her. When he is around, the words from her thoughts are sinking down her throat. Speaking her mind is extinction. When he is around, he uses his arms like whips. Touching her feels sharper than teeth dug in thighs. She can't fall asleep anymore, but she lays her head on pillows that whisper, this house, this bed, this shelter is what makes you love him. They say love is giving someone the power to destroy you, but trusting they won't. Love is handing your skin over, being nothing but bones, exposed and defenseless, nothing but weak. Love is excuse to say, I need you out loud, I need you, but, but when is getting something good enough without giving something back in return? This is me giving my parts to you, a shoulder, a spine, a steady knee to keep you from falling apart, a palm of fingers to touch me with. They say the greatest act of love is sacrifice. This this is me sacrificing my bones to you. When you are done with me, there will be nothing left of me. This is what love feels like when love doesn't feel anymore. He says he loves me only to hear it back because you are not a worthy human being if actions are not reciprocated. They say sacrifice because love is selfish. They say sacrifice because you are not worthy of being whole. They say love is accepting the person for who they are, but, but what person am I? After sacrificing all these parts of me, there is no person like this. This is the end of the poem. He holds my hand to make friends with my fingers. He says it's been lonely in between a spider web gaps lately. I don't say anything. I guess I need him too. She says, I'm the reason people walk away. Truth is, I've never been good at running after people and I use you because you're one of the few that I haven't left yet. This is the end of the poem. My brother is six. He's afraid to be alone in the basement. I wait for him at the bottom of the stairs. The distance between us is a chain of manipulation. I use his fear as a weapon of tugging what I want. Meeting someone is furniture in a room you can't get rid of but doesn't belong to you either. I am five. I pretend to leave him alone in the basement. He runs after me, screaming my name, licked in desperation. I lap down his backbone, hard enough to shove his chin down to his toes. He sacrifices his pride like he hasn't eaten in days, and it is the only piece of bread he has. Meaning someone is like, is like a membership with no refund. But I'm no longer five. The monster is no longer under the bed. It's in the mirror now, and, and it's staring right at me. Thank you. Woo!